Amateur Match area here at Pro Tour Ether Revolt. I'm Marshall Sutcliffe. I'm with my friend and co-worker. We just saw game one between Yellow Petersburg and uh, Luis Salvato with Luis coming up with an unorthodox victory here. Slamming in with all of his creatures and kind of slowly leaving back that white mana. For his Cogworkers Puzzle Knot. Yeah, that was a really cool display of this new improvised deck. I haven't seen much of, of decks like this so far this season. They're kind of just being just being explored for the first time, so it's really, really exciting to see them kind of debut here at the uh, But last game was really impressive. I mean, Luis, you know, virtually exploded there, but just playing out tons of artifacts early and leveraging the cost reduction of improvise. We saw a turn three. That should have better in that game. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That's good stuff. You got to do more than that to win in standard, but that was good. <laughs> and, and he did do more than that. Uh, Luis is on six cards here, by the way, in game number two. I've got some match updates for you as well. In fact, I can tell you here, Ian, that uh, Pierre Dajon, he's up a game over Mike Sikrist, and that Gabor Coxis was able to defeat Andrew Cooney. I'm going to tell you something. All of those wins, those game wins that we see, went to the. Uh, Copycat decks, as we're calling them. Oh, interesting. The Sahili Rai Fellow Guardian combo. And, uh, yeah, one of them defeating, that was Gabor defeating Andrew. He was on Esper Control. The other one is actually two different versions of the combo deck fighting each other with Pierre and, uh, and Mike. So here we have a similar start to what we saw last game. Yep. Um, Yelger leading off with uh, Grim Flayer. Luis with uh, Servo Schematic, I believe that is. No, that one's the Cogworkers Puzzle. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, but he does have, uh, to your point, he has four of them. Right, and then functionally very similar in his deck. Yeah, yeah the one difference, <laughs> as we saw last game. Did become relevant last game, but yeah, they're, they're, they're there for the same reason. And the reason's simple. They're making two artifacts on turn two. That's what he wants. He's going to miss a land drop here. This is going to be tough for Luis on this uh, mulligan here. Also, we see no Spire of Industry this time. Yeah, based on what we saw from last game, it seems like this matchup is a lot about speed. You know, with Yelger's deck, sort of the, the classic black-green deck presenting the best individual cards it can, just playing all high car card quality and, you know, maybe less on synergy as compared to Luis's deck, which is very, very synergy focused, um, really needing the right cards and the right draw to kind of explode um, out, of, out of the gates here. Looks like a fatal push here for Luis. I will take down the Grim Flare. Also, there's our first Winding Constrictor. There was one in the graveyard in game one, but now we got one on the battlefield. Hopefully we'll get a chance to see what that can do, but Fatal Push 